What's good my G's, it's your boy Snow, Ignorant Gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? Of course, if you don't already know, G stands for gamers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the channel for the first time if you're here because of the headline. If you're a subscriber, <laughs> you're not a subscriber, you're down with the squad. Hashtag IGZ up. Look, let's get into the video. PlayStation Live from Paris Week Games Week 2017 launch today was today. 1030 2017 starts off with like a little pre-show had a bunch of indie games the showing is not the showing they did a lot of great hyping up this thing i think it might have uh, oversold some some expectations i do believe there's a playstation meeting around the corner so my disappointment is not really disappointment because uh you got to know the pedigree of the people who you're watching so guacamelee 2 I know um, Xbox kind of had leaked it already, but Guacamole 2 coming out 2018. The Hong Kong Massacre top down shooter. Gonna look a little grimy and gritty 2018. The Gardens Between 2018. Loco Roco 2 in 4K for the PS4 Pro. 129 as that's this year. The Sims 4 is coming out November and is actually a is actually a perfect port as it's being rumored of the PC to the PlayStation and I'm sure it's gonna be on the other side as well I believe and all the free DLC and stuff that will be coming out for the PC will be coming over as well I personally am a Sims fan I have not played a Sims game in a long time shout out to SimCity I have played that and I kind of want that on my console tennis world tour come out 2018 this is gonna be the first like real in-depth sim tennis game I think tennis has been missing from the PlayStation world for quite a bit so all you guys looking for that have fun then there was a slew of again this is the pre-show a slew of playstation vr stuff going on psvr resident evil i don't know resident evil resident evil i said evil resident evil biohazard had some uh new content star trek bridge crew farpoint super hot megalith 2018 which was new to me bow to blood 2018 new to me ultra wings vr coming out sometime they didn't put a date on it Ultra Wings, Ultra Wings VR, really quickly, I'm going to say, reminds me of Pilot Wings on the Nintendo 64 and the Super NES. This, the difference is, now I got a fucking gun. And I can shoot out the hand, out the window with a handgun. You dig? That's that's some gangster shit right there. Yo, Sprint Vector, also 20XX. Don't know when, but a PSVR, PSVR title. Look pretty good. Look like some racing, skate, skating racing type thing. Looks good. Moss. Has a loose date, February 2018, another PSVR. I'm still in PSVR. Star Child, loose date, PSVR. Not a Hero, which is RE7. 12 12 2017. Dead Hungry. I'm going to talk about that real quick. It should be coming out tomorrow or today, depending on what time it is. Uh, Dead Hungry is a basically, think about those uh, games where you like making food and you're basically in a in a hot dog stand or a burger stand or one of these street street meat street meat stands is what we say in New York City and you gotta feed the zombies coming at you you're actually healing them with the food but if you don't feed them quick enough they'll I guess they'll eat you stifled stifled is also a PSVR I'm still in PSVR pre-show and stifled actually looked pretty cool stifled was a all black game with white lines and some red lines and red lines mean you're in trouble and you basically have to create a vibration by noise and the vibration gives you a layout of what the hell is actually you, 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 you can see in the dark it's like you know the vibration gives out the, the pathway of what's going on and you, you can walk from there but you got to be careful you can't overdo it else somebody's gonna come through and yoke you up cricket and Harvey <clears throat> listen League of War VR arena will be out tomorrow as well or today depending on when I drop this video then Final Fantasy came through with the standalone VR fishing. Non VR ish, at least I think it is, is also a Final Fantasy uh, 15 episode Ignis 1213 as when that's coming out. And Vector, some music type game, but like a scroller, a vertical scroller sh ship something. Eh, it looked pretty cool. I'm not sure if that was VR or not. And then they showed Or, Ori, which looks pretty cool. And Spelunky 2. I'm not sure if those last two were PS. I'm not sure if those last three or four was PSVR games, but 
that is what it is so then the show started and I'm not gonna go through everything but I wanted to get the VR thing a little shout out so off the back sucker punch games they drop in a new game called ghost of Tsushima I'm already called it ghost sushi ghost sushi will be 2018 or they didn't put a date on it but I'm saying 2018 might be early 2019 looks fantastic if you know sucker punch you know the games look a certain way and I'm telling you this game is some samurai shit and it looks fantastic in terms of the graphical they didn't really show no real gameplay so I can't talk on that all these trailers will be available on the PlayStation YouTube channel like th there's nothing to watch this conference for to be honest with you and um, it looks good they show some play link Erica shit concrete Juni, ace combat uh, Ari Bio, Rec Room Moss, more VR shit. It was a bit of a drag. So then they get into, you know, thanking some of the third party developers in there. We got one called Far Cry 5, which has some new co op shit. You could play all the missions, shared missions, in the co op mode, which I think is pretty dope. I, I would have loved to have that in Far Cry 4. Uh, to my PlayStation peoples, I had that on the on the Xbox. I played that with my boy Edgar, who's also Team IGZ, and we used to get it in. And um, might have to bring my talents back home, depending on when I speak to him and what we decide to do. But that will be available February 27 of next year. Then there's some uh, DLC t DLC for Destiny 2 coming out no uh december 5th which is curse of osiris shout out to my homie osiris 2k on the xbox aka saucy tron igz up saucy entertainment ah jim flow 100 as well shout out to him pat monster hunter world as we say around these parks fuck capcom but goddamn this game looks pretty good what I'm really appreciating about this Monster Hunter world is starting to look better and better when I see it. But I might be a little biased right now because you can play as Alloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. So you already know that's exclusive. I've not finished that game and, and unfortunately I got to start from scratch. My hard drive dive into some bullshit. Um, luckily for me I get to see what I really want to do with this game because on December 9th a beta will be available for PS Plus members. It might be exclusive to PlayStation, I'm not sure, but hey, I got them both, so I don't care where I play it as long as I get a chance to check it out. COD World War 2, you already know that's dropping soon. Bonus map, season pass, January 31st, first DLC, blah, blah, blah. Now, on Rush, I wanted to talk about on Rush. I feel like not a, not a lot of people are going to talk about on Rush, but I want to mention it something. On Rush seemed pretty cool. It actually reminded me of RIP Evo Studios of of uh drive club and moto apocalypse motorcycle apocalypse y'all know what i'm talking about it, it kind of remind me of that um a little bit loose with the uh with the art style it looks pretty fun i didn't get a chance to see who was actually the behind it um so moto storm and all that other shit that 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 remind me of this so on rush you have my attention for a little bit uh star wars battlefront 2 okay so Spider-Man 2018, no release date. Look like a little bit of a downgrade. Detroit Become Human 2018, no release date in, sh in depth. Um, looks fantastic. God of War 2018, early 2018. Look fantastic, saw some combat. Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, The Frozen Wilds. You already know, there's nothing to talk about. Shadow of the Colossus HD, whatever, nothing to talk about. The Last of Us 2 looked fucking amazing. Wasn't no gameplay and show. Trailer was awesome. Nothing to talk about. Now, for the last, I guess, minute or so, I want to get into these last little things. Is why this shit wasn't really that exciting. And you can save your time and just go straight to the PlayStation's YouTube channel and um, watch all these videos as you see fit. Colin on uh ex ex member of kind of funny games and uh he does his own thing now he said this and i believed him when he said it and i i think this is gonna ring more true he was very emphatic with saying that some of these games because we've been seeing some of these games for almost since 2016 spider-man detroit god of war and the last of us 2 are probably not coming to ps4 right early 2018 for god of war means the shit's coming i'm saying march right the fact that the other ones aren't having it 
does raise pretty question. And then there's another zombie game that PlayStation has that has not shown up here, and that raises questions too. Then there's it's 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 the gods game. Was that Death Stranding? Death what? What's Hideo Kojima's game? That game. We have not heard anything from that, but again, don't forget the PlayStation experience is coming up pretty soon. I'm not saying it's gonna be there. What I'm saying is just wait. Stand by to stand by as someone who I work with says. Alright? So is there a chance that Spider-Man will slip? No, Spider-Man will not slip. Only the simple fact is I think they're trying to line it up for a blockbuster release, maybe next to the movie or something. This game has a uh, gaming season time frame written all over it. So I expect next year, October, November, when it should have been October, November this year, but who am I, right? Detroit Become Human is, is to me, was looking like a June release of 2018. I said that earlier this year when I seen the shit. Uh, I, I don't see this game partic particularly falling into the main gaming season, but then God of War coming early also makes me question some of the validity of some of these other games that are not at this show. Um, and 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 maybe some hints at the next PlayStation device. I still think it'd be another handheld device. I don't think it's another console just yet. I think after 2018, early 2019, we're gonna find out about another console. So I don't know. That's just my speculation. I ain't got nothing to back that up. It's just my gut feeling. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you're excited for. If anything kind of tickled your fancy. Uh, Paris Games Week is some other. I don't really don't really care about this shit. But yo, let me know. I'm looking forward to the PlayStation experience. And uh, yeah, your boy Snow. If you like the video, like the video, comment. Got a question? Hit me up. We do do AMAs around here. My name is Snow. Ignorant gamers, and I'm gone. Hashtag IGZ up. Don't be a subscriber. Be a part of the squad. Holla.